On Friday, November 5th, Elizabethtown students were given the chance to take a trip back to their childhood with Legends of the Hidden Temple, an event sponsored by OSN. With 20 teams set to compete in the initial competition, preliminary rounds were held to bring the competition down to six teams. Event coordinator Kayla Rausch explains the first round. There's 20 teams in the preliminary round and during the preliminary round they will run through the obstacle course one time and we will time it. And we're going to get down each, um, each time and the teams with the six fastest times move on to the actual like show. The obstacle course proved easier for some than others, but all teams had a good run through it. From climbing the makeshift rock walls to beating through the blow-up bunkers, the teams were in a race against the clock, but one thing was for sure. Everyone went through and came out with their own special style. Teams will start out and spectators will also start out in the pool and um, it's called the moat, but um, it's our moat challenge and we have rubber duckies that we have in the water and they have to go in the water and pull the rubber duckies out and spell words. Each team was given a word they needed to spell with the ducks. Each duck had one letter on the bottom. As the swimmers found their letters, they could throw them to their teammates on the side who would begin arranging the work. The ducks were spread through the pool, and often swimmers found themselves looking to their dry teammates for help. In the race against the clock and the other teams, some students found the task at hand to be quite simple, while others found it to be more challenging and were left disappointed. The game was narrowed down to four teams who went head-to-head -head in a question-and-answer session to make it to the finals. All questions related to Elizabethtown and founder J.G. Francis. After the questions were asked, competitors popped balloons. The first to pop each balloon was given the opportunity to answer the question. At the end of the balloon challenge, only two teams were left in the competition. In the final round, Ryan Stadel and Zach Foster pulled ahead to win the whole competition. The two teams were given a board of scrambled symbols. All symbols were famous team symbols from the six teams from the original show. They had to work together to find and match up all of the pieces, then transfer them to a second board. Stadel and Foster won by just seven seconds, and both boys were thrilled with the victory. I caught up with them after the competition to see what their plans were to celebrate. Uh, Disney World! Disney World! Disney World! Disney World! For ECTV 40, I'm Samantha Wingrove.